right here in San Diego. The Bellator 300 prelims roll on as we go now to the light heavyweight division. Scheduled for three five minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner at six foot one, weighing in 204.4 pounds. His professional record 14 wins, four losses out of Stargard, Poland. Maciej Spartan Rosanski. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot eleven, weighing in two hundred five point four pounds. Right now, at number seven, as a professional, he brings twenty victories, seven defeats, one draw. From Ashgabat, Turkmenistan, introducing the Yakshamurino. And your referee in charge, Frank Trigg. Dovalit Yakshamuradov looking for his third consecutive victory. Rosansky looking to bounce back from a unanimous decision loss to Carl Moore at Bellator 291 this past February. Thank you. Light heavyweight set to go three Ready? rounds or less here Ready? at Pachanga Fight. Arena, San Diego, California. You're watching the prelims. Bellator 300 and Yakshamuradov has been a part of a World Grand Prix came in and you know right into the deep end John against Corey Anderson and Carl Albertson lost both fights but now has bounced back with two consecutive wins including an impressive win over Julius Anglixis at Bellator 292 in March. Well, that was a great win against Anglixis and yeah he came into Bellator and they put him in the deep end of the pool against Corey Anderson right away but he's a smaller light heavyweight but he's fast he's elusive he's got a ton of spinning attacks and he's got power with speed and he's one of the favorites at that the murderers row of talent at american top team i mean we wax poetic about it every show with it it bears repeating they are just that good and he's a guy who is is always keeping everybody uh happy and light and always there to do whatever it takes including what he's doing right now exactly you know a bunch of guys that are foreigners there just light up the room there and he's one of them he's a guy that will help you in any way he'll be your sparring partner He'll help you win your game when you got a fight coming up. He's just a good person and a great partner to have in the gym. Right hand from Rosansky was never been finished. He is 14 and 4, 1 and 1 in the Bellator MMA cage. Yakshimuradov, he is 2 and 2 in Bellator, 27 and 1 overall. Well, this one, Rosansky is either controlling the center of the cage or coming forward. That's when he's best. That's where he made the mistake against Carl Moore. He allowed Carl Moore to control the center of the cage too much. Yeah, oh, and he just took that right hand. I was going to mention, though, when you talked about about it in the tail of the tape. He feels he is going to exploit his reach advantage, use his boxing game, but here's Yakshamurudov connecting with some hard shots. Yeah, but when a guy understands footwork, he can take that range and that distance and make it work and, for him. And that's what Yakshamurudov is doing. Lateral movement left and right, now circling to the right. Two minutes elapsed here in the first round. Rosansky out of the... Was a nice clean overhand right. You know, it's funny, his nickname is Spartan, and of course, Bellator 300. We'll hear more about that in, coming up in our open. But a fitting nickname for a, an event number 300 for Mache Rosansky. And oh, and there's a cap kick by Yag Shamurudov. So both of these light heavyweights coming forward, both of them having their moments. Did you see what he did with his leg? Mm -hmm. That was a back kick. Yes, and a heel strike. Time. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Zansky having a little bit of trouble with all that movement. Not He's able to, he wants to set his feet. Good intentions forward. of going to the body to try yes, to slow down absolutely. that movement. You're absolutely right. When you're gonna got a guy that keeps on moving, don't try to hit him to the head. Go to that more big target, stationary target, the body. Two minutes left here in the first round. Next Murodov measuring up. Rosansky moves to his right. Rosansky looking to use that jab as a Blinding technique. Oh, oh was and he almost got rocked with that lead left hook from Yang Shamuradov. And yet, oh, and there's a spinning. That's what I'm talking about. Look, he's fast when he wants to be. 
And Yakshamurov needs to get that hat off center line before, or excuse me, Rodonsky needs to get exactly. that hat off center line before Yakshamurov takes it off for him. Yeah, Yakshamurov is doing a great job with his head movement, putting his head to the side when he's throwing. He is Rodonsky, no not so much. No, he's, he's got that head is just stationary right down the middle, and that's why you're seeing Yakshamurov have such success right now. And he's mixing it up, going to the lead leg with again the, the calf kick and just picking up those steps, utilizing the real estate of the cage and all the right uppercut by Yakshamurdov to the jaw of Rosatsky who marches forward. Under a minute left in the round. This is the one place that Yakshamurdov needs to be careful. Don't put your back and against the cage. With two shots from Rosatsky. You see that nice big black circle in the middle of that cage. That's where you want to be. One, two, three punch combination from Yakshamurdov. Rosansky following him, not cutting it off, and eats another uppercut from Yakshamurov. Okay, look for Yakshamurov to start looking towards that uppercut. You're looking at Rosansky keeps on dipping that head down, and he's doing it to the right more often than ever. There it goes again, and Yakshamurov's going to start to read that. Naked shot by Yakshamurov does take Rosansky off his feet, but time will run out before Yakshamurov is able to exploit this advantageous position. Yakshamuradov started as a karateka, wanted to start fighting, got into MMA, and now this is his 29th professional fight, round number two against Maciej Rosansky, who was fighting as a professional for the 19th time and just ate that left uppercut. Check left hook from Yakshamuradov, good counter strike by Rosansky. And Rosansky coming forward much more aggressively. And that's what his corner was basically telling you to see. You're going to have to go out and can't let him have that freedom of range. But the one thing that I've seen from Yank Shimmer. Oh, oh he that just was a Yank Shimmer with that right hand. He's hurt. Yank Shimmerda forced to retreat. Rosansky, the boxer, oh. and he gets clipped by a counter strike from Yank Shimmerda. High drama here in the second round. Level change by Yakshamurdov, able to take Rosansky down, and oh, after nice. he tasted the power, the Polish power of Rosansky, said, let's take it to the canvas, I shall think, we? I think we're going to slow this down a little bit, which is smart and very well done by Yakshamurdov. Somewhere Ivan Putski is smiling. <laughs> Polish <laughs> power himself. So let's see Rosansky now with a... BJJ Black Belt has nine submission wins, so is comfortable off his back, John. Last submission win came back in 2020 with the Von Flu choke. Very nice. Nicely done, but you can see he's using an open guard, but he's trying to move his hips. Yankshin Murdoch just staying centered on him. Now he's in the wrong position for a Von Flu now, yeah, but yeah, just a little. if he attacks the neck, maybe Yankshin Murdoch. <laughs> Well, as, as you see in Rosansky trying to take it off center, move his hips, that's a big elbow landed by Yakshamurdov. And Yakshamurdov wants to posture up and rain down those shots. Look for his 13th finish due to strikes. See, here's that type of position when you're talking about Yakshamurdov got hurt by Rosansky. But now, Rosansky on his back, He's taking more and more shots, and he's just slowly and systematically allowing Yankshamurdov to take the round over from him. He needs to figure out, if I'm not going to be able to get that submission, let me either go for the reversal or get my butt back to my feet. Yeah, he told us, too, that loss to Carl Moore, what it taught him, I mean, you have to be ready for anything. It is mixed martial arts, but he felt that he needed to, yeah, start thinking a little more cerebrally. And here now, again, facing... Yakshamurdov in top position, Rosansky cannot settle, trying to stay active, trying to find a way to reverse sweep or get it back to its feet. And there now it's got the hooks in, he's got the butterfly hook. He's got the butterfly hooks in, but he keeps allowing Yakshamurdov. Can the elevator go up though, John? <laughs> Yakshamurdov's doing a great job of having heavy hips. Every time you see Rosansky start to try to elevate him, he just allows his hips to get very heavy. Rosansky can't move him. So from what I'm seeing, he's not able to elevate and get that reversal, so he's got to get himself back to his And the ground and pound has scored for Donald Yakshamuradov. Rosansky does get to his feet, but continues to eat shots from Yakshamuradov. 
but great effort by Rosansky to say, you know what, I got to get out of here. That's exactly what he did. And yet Shamordov with a big edge in the striking department at a 56% clip. So tremendous start. And now Rosansky turning the table, but gets hit with a right and another right as they break apart. See if Rosansky can start moving. Oh, the extra more by back towards that fence. That's where he's had the most success. And the extra more about looking at the clock, hands down, trying to utilize his lateral movement, trying to find a way to land another hard shot. A minute left in the second. Body kick by Rosansky. Nice clean body kick by Rosansky. That had power on it. It's going to take some starch away from Yagshin Murdoch. And Yagshin Murdoch hasn't been the same since he tasted the power of Rosansky in terms of engaging in the offense. We saw him take him down, but here now he's on the periphery, utilizing lateral motion. There's a kick from Yagshin Murdoch. Would you agree, John? Uh, you're absolutely right. And I guarantee when he gets back to his corner, Art Levin, who is a fantastic coach, yes, unbelievable kickboxing kick legend, he's going to start to get on and say, hey, I don't care how much you're moving, I need you to throw and I need you to be offensive. Well, Rosansky said his boxing would prove to be advantageous. Has had moments of success here in round two. As we go to the third and final round of this duel at light heavyweight. So much great action to come your way here tonight as we get set for the third and a final round between Dovalet Yachimuradov with the red tape around those commemorative golden gloves and Maciej Rosansky with the blue tape around his gloves and they start throwing their gloves. That's what you need to see Yachimuradov do. He needs to start opening up with those combinations that got him so successful for him in the first round. How do you have it here going into the final round, John, on your unofficial scorecard? I have Rosansky needs to do something special in this round. I have Yankshin Murdoch up two rounds to zero. Rosansky keeping his attack boxing centric. The textbook one two needs to move his head off the center line as he ate the one two from Yankshin Murdoch. See, but he doesn't, he doesn't take it off the center line. He just kind of. He kind of brings his traps up, brings his neck in, and just like absorbs the shot. And it's great that you're getting hit. That's one form of defense, I guess. <laughs> oh, wow. Both of them delivering with bad intentions. Yaksha Muradov both going for the level change. Yaksha Muradov snatches the single, has Rosansky against the fence, looking for the high crotch, looking to take Rosansky for a ride. Plants him face first now into the open guard of Rosansky. That was a great job by Yakshin Murdoch because Rosansky did grab the cage and the pad in trying to stop it. Yakshin Murdoch, three of five in the takedown department, has scored a takedown in each round of this fight. Yeah, he did get a takedown right at the end of the first round. Yeah. Almost for the See, I've forgotten more than I'll ever know, so don't worry about it. it but in this position, you got to go back to that second round and what Yang Shamurdov here was able to do. If you're Rosansky, you know, I've just got to get myself back. To we discussed this earlier, John. He's got the half butterfly, butterfly hook in. Yep. But he's got one, in the he's second got one, round, he was one able, butterfly to, hook. To, to able to ele elevate Yang Shamurdov. And now Yang Shamurdov back to a vertical base. And Rosansky in the that's good position here. Little old school scene in the MMA cage. You know, always be careful of putting your head in yeah. front of your hips. Keep your hips in front of your nice head. Nice guard pass attempt by Yaksha Muradov, but Rosansky maintains. Past the midpoint of the final round. Yaksha Muradov trying to. Get full mop, but again, up against the fence, running out of real estate. Has Rosansky pinned, feeds him a right hand to the face. Rosansky now looking to swivel, and now he has Yakshamurdov against the fence, delivers an upkick. He does, but you can see Yakshamurdov just basically 
putting himself back into the guard. He's comfortable there. Rosansky not really coming up with much as far as any type of submission attempts. He tried to change the angles, get a little bit of a, a position on Yakshin Murdoch. He's never been able to hold it. Rosansky has never been finished. There he goes again, trying to see him trying to change that angle. Yakshin Murdoch squares right back up. Rosansky representing Berserker's team in Poland at the huge reach advantage, but on his back here with just over a minute left in the final round. Big elbow. These elbow shots he yanks Murdoch is landing. They're clean and they're hard. Under a minute left in the fight. Rosansky. Being maneuvered to the cage in no position he well, wants to try to wall walk up to his feet, but Yaksha Murdov will try to keep the pressure on him from top position. Yaksha Murdov doing a great job of taking away that posting hand. That's why he remained where he was at. Getting a little restless, but Yank Shamuradov, you know, smothering Rosansky, grinding away, wants to secure his third consecutive win while sending Rosansky to his first two fight losing streak. And with time now ticking away, Yank Shamuradov looking to deliver some ground and pound as Rosansky's been cut up. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go now to your three judges. Your first, Derek Cleary, scores it 30 to 27, while judges Wade Vieira and the Hadi Muhammad Ali sees it the same 29 to 28. All three have it for the winner by unanimous decision. Dovnet Yakshamuridov.